Well, as you can see, I just removed these clamps from here because I had to do some surgery on my Piper J3 cub there. Uh, I'll be putting the covering on, and as you can see, during somewhere during the build process, this broke. This stabilizer beam, whatever it's called, broke, and so I reinforced it with spar this way and one this way, rib spar, whatever it's called, and as you can see here. If and when, or should I say when, this plane breaks, it'll probably break here first. That's the weakest point. Uh, as you can see, I just basically put on one side of the covering. You use an iron, it's shrink wrap. And then you just cut it off. You can see it to the underside already. And I have a beautiful line there. I cut it off underneath there. And... Uh, it's very easy to work with, actually. A lot easier than it looks. I just use the iron over here. And I cover it and, and then cut the edge off like that. It comes out looking fantastic like this. This stabilizer piece here, I don't know what it's called. Uh, it's the wrong one. Where's the other one? Here it is. As you can see, I wrap this with the shrink wrap plastic as well. It's very easy to work with because it just shrinks and sticks with heat. And that goes right there. As you can see, that is going to look fantastic. Okay. Okay. You see? And it's very easy to do. Anyone can do this. It just takes forever. That's all. See, it doesn't look very good there. And I haven't gone all the way around. I left some exposed there. But it goes in right like that. And as I said, this part, I had to perform some surgery on that part there. And it was sort of, the wood was kind of missing. I'll get my hair cut today, so the next time you see me, I'll be all uh, gone. But it was missing on the underside, some of the, the wood. And so I got some sawdust, some ground up wood. And uh, blue, jammed it in there, Try to create some reinforcement somehow. And there's the two extra beams again from the underside. And there's a bigger, wider look at it, the other two. But I'm reinforcing it, so it'll be too heavy on this side as well. I'll have to put some other, oh God, some other weight on this side to weigh it out. But you do that with the plane when you're done to weigh the front, back, left, right, pitch, yaw, whatever it is. Okay, and this when when I when we get to the, when I show this to you again, this should be um, sealed up and finished. See, it just goes right on there. It works really easily. Just time consuming, but that'll be easy. It'll look great. It'll look like the underside. How good that looks. Okay, so I will. And here's the rest of it. I should have started filming this when I started building it, but better late than never. Uh, and after this, we're going to be putting these pieces in here somewhere. Let's see. Like that. Okay. And that won't be too... I'll have to use ratchet straps for that. And some wood pieces go along the side here, which is unusual. It just goes on the side. It's glued onto it to figure out how to do that. I'll do that with weights. I'll put it on its side and put weights on it. See? One of my dad's trophies. He used to have boxes of them, but the boxes are probably all gone somewhere now in the landfill. It's falling apart. <laughs> okay. See you soon.